Hey guys, we are here with the fifth and final step for our five steps to a beautiful canvas or fabulous canvas, our Monday with Deco Art series inspired by Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives, yeah? All right, so in our fifth and final step, it's free play. Um, I'm going to show you some new stuff I just got in from Deco Art that we're gonna that I'm gonna use on this in this final step, and then we're gonna set the timer and we'll have get started. So let me put this up right here right now, and let me share some things with you. All right. Now, some of these things were sent to me by DecoArt, and some I bought from Amazon. Um, so if you are interested in any of the products you've seen in this video or any of the Monday um, with DecoArt videos, um, go to DecoArt.com, and um, they have a, sh a s online store. You can also find a list of available uh, retailers in your area that carry their products. Um, the first thing I got, which we're not going to use today, but we will be using on e upcoming projects for sure, is I got a bunch of the Americana Deco Page papers. Um, this one is called Vintage Silhouette, Silver Trends, Gold Stag, Paisley Punch, Metallic Type, Silver Basics, Gold Basics, Gold Trends, Safari Life, Arrows, I love, there's something about this one, I love this one. I also love this one, Victorian Romance, which is usually not my thing, but there's something about this combination of papers, and maybe it's the colors, I'm not sure. Uh, I Cat, Moroccan, Ship to Shore, I love the blueprint one in here, and these are all tissue type collage papers, so right up my alley, thin collage papers, I love that. Tribal and Old Worlds. Fabulous collage papers. I can't wait to use them in some upcoming projects. Uh, I also got some refills of some things or some things I didn't have before from them. Some things I was running out of. Of course, the uh, Traditions Artist Acrylic Paint Aquamarine. You know, y'all know I was probably running out of that first, right? Um, I love their Traditions Artist Acrylic Paints. Really great, affordable, artist quality paint. I love them. And I love that color. I got some more fabric painting medium, drying time extender, and cream wax, because I wanted to try it. I don't know if it would be a good replacement for Daddy Vans or not. I'm not sure. So you might see a Monday with Deco Arts video coming up where I do an experiment on this with um, this uh, versus Daddy Vans. So we might see, because this I think might be a little easier to get. We'll find out. And then I got this, which is uh, the DecoArt Media Satin Varnish. Can't wait to use that too. And we may use this on the um, canvas we're going to work on today. When it's all said and done and dry, um, I may use this on there. And I may at some point share it with you after it's been sealed and varnished. So. Then I was doing a little research for this fifth step and what I wanted to use. I really wanted to use paint pens, but this is Monday with DecoArt, right? So I wanted to use a DecoArt paint pen. And I thought, hmm, do they even have one? I didn't know. Well, guess what they do? <laughs> now they have these, these paint pens that are um, glass paint markers. These are intended for um, uh, non-porous surfaces, glass, tile, ceramics. Um, but I tested them on um, acrylic painted paper and they work just fine. Um, so initially I bought black and white from Amazon, that's these two here. And I also found out they have these paper effects, deco art paper effects. Uh, these are like a paint writer um, and they dry dimensional. Um, and so I got some of these two to try and I may use these on here too, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I definitely will be using them in upcoming projects. I got these from Amazon and um, this color is black pearl. These are a little bit, some of these are a little bit pearlescent, so um, I got gold pearl, amethyst pearl, and peacock gold, which I just love. Don't you love that green color? So that's going to be fun to use. And I have an idea for these again on a future project. But when I was placing my refill order for um, some of the products I was running low on and the decoupage papers, I asked 
my coordinator about, you know, these paint pens, can we get them because I have this project I'm working on, here's a link to the video. Um, is there any way, I, could, I can only afford black and white, is there any way I could get more colors? She sent me a box of them. So they don't come in tons of colors, but they do come in some really great colors I want to share with you guys before we get started. And I may be using these in our 15 minutes. So I have yellow. We'll open them as we go. Orange. Uh, citron. Uh, blue. Gotta be able to get them open. Green. The citron is like a light yellowy green, and this is just your regular primary green. Silver. I didn't even know they made these, and so now that I have all these colors, you may see a future project where we're um, decorating a coffee cup or something because I should save the back of one of these. Yeah, let's save the back of one of these so I have the directions. Um, red, because I'm thinking, you know, a doodle coffee cup or something would be fun. Black, another black one which is great because I can already tell you that's probably going to be the color that gets used the most. That's the one that doesn't want to come open. There we go. Brown. Fuchsia, and they have a turquoise, yay! Violet, <coughs> turquoise, any Paint pens that come in turquoise are good paint pens. <laughs> Another white one, which is great. So if you can only afford two paint pens, if you're on a budget, get black and white. They're going to be the two colors you use the most anyway. Gold. grab my timer and put it right there. Got my paint markers. Before we get started, I want to show you guys. So I tested the paint markers, the black and white, on this drop paper when they came in. Right here in this corner. So this is the black and this is on acrylic paint and this is the white. They work great. They dry um, pretty quickly, they dry very smoothly, and they seem to be waterproof, um, like any paint pen should be. So yay, I love that. This paper's almost time to turn the paper. Okay, so we're going to get started here, and I've got my paint pen. I think I only want to use paint pens, but of course this is free play. So you can sit back and you can look at your canvas and decide if there's something missing or not that you want to fix on it or not in the 15 minute time allotment. Um, I am going to get one more thing because as part of my 15 minutes I want to paint the edges black. So I'm going to get out some black paint. As soon as I find it. As you know, I find every color except black. Raw umber, that's not it. That's not it. There it is, carbon black. So I do want to paint it black, so I've got some black here. You know, be as prepared as we can be because we don't, you know, your time is limited, right? So you don't want to have to be digging for stuff. I'm going to have a small um, sponge brush to do the edges with. Get 
and I have my paint here ready to go. Okay. Sit down. Let's set our timer. Okay. All right, are we ready? So before I hit the timer, I want to make sure the pens I want to use are prepped for colors. So this must be the, yeah, that, that one's ready. And by prepped, I mean, you know, because they're paint pens. So you have to bring yeah, the paint all the way down to the tip. Um, I may want to use the turquoise. So when with a paint pen, give it a good shake. And then you're going to just give it a pump against some paper. You can kind of hold it until the paint comes down out of the barrel of the pen and fills the felt tip. See how it's starting to right there? Yeah, there we go. So that's the turquoise. And then I think I want to do the pink. Maybe the citron, the light green. So make sure all of this stuff is prepped and ready to go before you get started. That way you don't have to waste any of your 15 minutes doing this. And I would definitely recommend, as I do with all of my paint canvases, painted canvases, do the edges last. When you do them, have a baby wipe handy, which I'll get down in a minute. In case you get any of your edge paint on the front in a place that you don't want it, you can just wipe it off because this is all dry. Sometimes I leave, you know, my canvas sit for a couple of days and then I do the edges. In this case, we won't do that, but. And we had a word here written on the stem and I might want to put more writing on here. So we're going to look at that as we get going here. green one doesn't want to get started. There it comes. It's coming. Eventually. There we go. Okay. So now we're ready to go. We've got our pens. We've got our paint. They're all prepped. Let's go. Yeah. So I'm going to hit start and I'm going to start with the black. So I'm going over some of my doodles, darkening my lines with the black pen. At least the part of the doodle that I want to keep. If there's part of it that I don't, you know, I'm not crazy about, I can just leave it the way it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite my word here. Now I wrote that. I'm not sure I like it. <clears throat> At least not all of it. So grabbing the baby wipes. Remember what I said about this being dry? So and the paint pen's not dry. And it is acrylic, but it takes a few minutes to dry. So you can just wipe it off. You just want to make sure your background's dry. I do like the bleep, so we're going to leave that. Okay. 
re-outlining all your shapes is just gonna it's gonna make everything pop now of course I'm gonna have some little a little bit of trouble on the parts where there's lots of texture that's okay I'm gonna turn this around so I can get the other end without sticking my hand in something because you know it's totally something I would do to white I'll switch it around again still trying not to stick my arm in anything and just you know don't worry about anything except just having fun and, and just creating some doodles I'm trying to make sure that whatever I do on here, I do it in at least groups of three or groups of five instead of just one of something. Uneven group numbers of things are more interesting. And right now I'm just doodling. Now I'm doing it in white because there's enough black, dark black on here. Enough dark black lines, um, but I want to add some more interest to the piece. And I'm going to do three groups of three of these little arrow shapes. Each group has three in it, but I'm going to do three of them hopefully going different directions. I'm going to keep turning my canvas to ensure, 10 minute warning, to ensure that I'm going different directions. And I'm not really, I'm just going by instinct. doing that and, and turning your canvas around and that kind of kind of forces you to be a little bit more random than you maybe normally would with your marks. Nope, that's six. I need to put one more. Hmm. That too. Okay. I like that so far. Let's put some pink. Nine minutes.
just keep doodling, keep making marks, follow your instincts. Try not to think about it. Try not to glance at the clock too much, if you can help it. Use your colors, your light, bright colors, and your white to brighten the painting up so it doesn't look too dark. Try not to stick your hand in anything. Which is easier said than done, at least for me. I want to put some blue on here somewhere. The question is, what mark do I want to put? Holy cow, and I just said not to think too much about it, didn't I? Let's put some white right here. How about some, we have a lot of circles going on. minute warning. Okay, now I'm going to take, we have five minutes, I'm going to take my sponge brush and my black paint and I'm going to paint the edge doesn't that cover so nicely some paints that I've done this with you have to do two coats or more to get the same kind of coverage with this traditions paint it really the black at least along with most of the other colors, has really nice coverage. This really um, frames your painting very nicely doing this. Leave yourself at least the last five minutes so that you don't have to rush. Although technically this is probably, you probably could consider this not part of the five steps and just do this last and do everything else first and just let it dry and then just do this in part of your free time. You know, after you do all the five steps. I'm gonna include it, but you don't probably have to. And it looks like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna have some time left, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. And even though you don't really see that on the front, it just uh, makes it look so nice and finished. All right, let's keep going here and let's do some more doodles. Let's see if I can think of any. I don't know. I think it looks pretty done and I have three minutes left. Holy cow. 
Let's do this. I kind of like the way it's looking. I'm kind of wondering if I do this. How does that look? Oh, I kind of like that. I'll now see what I did. I've only got two minutes left though. that. Holy cow. Yep, that's really nice. I think I just want to do it to the flower too. I don't think I want to do it to the rest of it. go. Well, I like it. I hope you guys like it. Can you even see the whole thing? Let's see. Now it's all wet. There we go. That's sideways view, but that's the only way I can get it in the camera. So there's our fabulous canvas all said and done. Um, I love the way it looks. I love this kind of primitive, abstract, freeform kind of style. It's one of my favorite ways to paint. I hope you all give it a try and see what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. All of my contact information is in the description below. If you have a product you'd like to send me to review, you can do that or Happy Mail or whatever. You, all of that information on how to do that is in the description below, along with the link to my new Facebook group and a bunch of other links too. So read the description because there's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, comment on the video if you have any ideas for other things you'd like me to do or you'd like to see. Um, I do respond to every comment. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days, but I do respond to them. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.